Welcome to the Journey of Love and Light. Taurus, this is your June career and finance reading. I've already meditated over the cards and shuffled the cards, so we're going to get started right away. The first card out is the Three of Michael. Um, the next card is the Nine of Gabriel. The next card is the Six of Ariel. This came out in the pre-shuffle as well, so this is good news. <clears throat> and then the Seven of Gabriel. Okay, I'm going to start with these cards first, and, and then we'll go into the next row. So the the, the uh, first card's coming out with the Three of um, Swords being in the beginning. It says that you should release the uh, past and grow from the situation. So, you know, maybe you've made some bad financial choices or you've loaned people money that you shouldn't have loaned money in the past. Um, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, you know, maybe you've even had, um, you know, situations where you've lost a job or, um, you know, just, you know, things were not working financially for you in some way. And that's kind of caused you to hold on to some fear um, from the past in terms of, you know, what, whatever those financial challenges were that, you know, came up out of the blue and it's causing you to potentially worry about the future that hasn't even arrived yet. Um, but you know, universe says that you are working really hard and you're putting in a, a lot of effort right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's just something in my throat. Um, you're um, you're putting in a lot of effort right now, and so um, you just need to keep you know moving forward and know that you know all of your efforts are going to pay off because um, this um, six of Ariel is saying you know that you know all your material needs are going to be fulfilled. Um, you know, you know, see, look like the, the apples are just falling from the trees. So there's no reason to worry about, you know, whether or not that you're going to have enough you are. And, and you're going to, there's going to be a victory and it's going to seem like a, a, a bit of a victory after a battle in terms of like you had to really stand up and, you know, uh, work hard to get to this, maybe to get to this financial level in your life, especially after whatever, you know, losses you might have um, uh, uh, come through. But, you know, the, uh, spirit is really saying though that you know you need to just really come from a um, heart center you know don't you know don't worry about the money the money will be there uh, for you because you know you you know there's this abundance that's just you know the energy that's in the environment around you and it says that you know um you so let me maybe you need to be putting more time and attention towards your family and you know helping them you know um, stay um, in in the right mindset and using your intuition to know you know when it is time to help and when it's time to intervene because there's going to be this um, uh, new you know financial offer for you um, and uh, it, it's like there's going to be um, you know, it's going to be like a really great opportunity that's coming. And, you know, you want to be, make sure that, you know, that, because you've really worked for it. This, all this work here that you've been doing here, you know, you worked for this uh, opportunity. Like you've gotten, you know, you've gotten to the level that you need to be to be able to um, accomplish this uh, material wealth. Because you're really, you're truly the magician in your own life. You know, you're the alchemist. You can create what it is that you want to create financially. It's just a matter of knowing that, you know, as above, so below. And when you vibrate at the right level that you'll attract the right uh, things into your life you'll attract what it what it is that you're focusing on so you know make sure that you're focusing on you know the magic that you want to create in your life um, and you know towards this victory uh, you know that is um, you know uh, it's well, I would what is the word I want to say here um, like it's just it's it's going to happen regardless you know it's just evident because you have the strength that is required to really overcome any challenging situation and you know you can um, uh, you know really and, and I normally don't uh, pull another card but there's one at the bottom that I've really got to be able to show you because it says um, the ten the ten of uh, Raphael was at the bottom of the deck and it says that love and blessings fill your life, that harmonious relationships with family members, and that you're going to have your happily ever after. So, um, you know, stop, um, you know, uh, 
uh, spending too much time, you know, worrying about anything that you know that you're bringing in from the past. Let the let the past you know, be in yesterday. You know, know that you have the support of your uh, family and more so even your own intuition and your connection to the universe. Um, you are willing to put in the work, and as a result, you know the opportunities are going to come for you um, to give you this financial abundance because you are the you know the magician in your own life, and you are have the ability to create success you know in in you know any situation uh, because you know you bring with you kind of the strength of a lion <clears throat> and so I hope that that was helpful for you uh, my dear Taurus uh, I'm, I've been doing something different at the end of each of these readings I'm pulling a card from the secrets of the millionaire mind uh, to go with this reading uh, from the T Harb Eckerd deck because I believe that wealth is a mindset and we all need to make sure that we are um, thinking um, like like the wealthy and so this card for you says that develop an empowerment motivation for success, developing out, develop an empowering motivation for success. And what that says is if your motivation for acquiring money or success comes from a non-supportive route, such as fear, anger, or the need to prove yourself, your money will never bring you happiness. Practice comes from purpose and joy. Um, so here, so just like I said, that's really, you know, I think comes back to this, you know, make sure that you're spending time with the family, you know, that you are, um, you know, when you're, you're, you know, balancing, you know, work and life and that you're really creating a holistic life that you love um, and, and that you're not working for fear of, um, you know, not having enough. Um, or, you know, because you feel because you feel like you need to prove yourself, you know, you've already proven yourself. You already who who you need to be to show up every day. You know, we all continue to grow and, um, you know, just, you know, give some appreciation to yourself. So, um, Taurus, I hope that this was useful for you on your journey of. Oh, no. So Taurus, I hope this was useful for you on your journey of love and light. I feel like I closed out, so hopefully it didn't uh, mess up. But um, this is the kind of uh, thing that Mercury Retrograde brings to us. I would ask, though, that if you um, uh, like this reading, to please, you know, give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel as it helps me reach more people. You know, um, YouTube's algorithm allows me to um, be seen um, when I, I demonstrate that the people who watch my readings like them. So thank you and wishing you nothing but the best on your journey of love and light. Um, peace and blessings.